Holy smoke and rockets. Thank you. So I want to give you that for the token of my appreciation of what you did. We were coming back from uh, Fisher River. Well, we just finished the power there in Fisher River and we were coming down to Long Plains. We set up camp and we were getting, we were going to go into Portage for breakfast and coffee. And so my wife jumped out of the vehicle and she grabbed a few of, a few of her things out of the back. And she forgot, just totally forgot to told, close the tailgate. I was already in the driver's seat, ready to go. She jumps in, we drove off. Coming to the trans kind of highway turnoff, I kind of picked up speed, and somehow that happened that my suit, my back case must have fell off. I got the portage, and we got to McDonald's. We were in the lineup. An older man come and knocked on my window, and he says that uh, that we had dropped a black case. And I was like, I knew it. What I knew what it was right away. I was coming in from my cottage, and that's when I seen the case, and I just drove right by it, and. I guess curiosity got the best of me. I wanted to know what was in the case. So I turned around, I went back and I got it. Everything was in there, my roads, my bus, my whole regalia. It's a part of who I am. It's a part of the Cree man that I am. That's my life, that's, you know, that's what I know. That's who I am. That's a way to keep my culture traditions alive and to pass them on. I never even looked at it, what was in it. I just automatically picked it up and put it in the back of my pickup and just kept going. I went back to Long Plains, nothing. I drove up and down that highway, trans kind of highway from Long Plains to Portage at least four times, and nothing. I thought it was gone forever, and I, I didn't know what to do. I, I was upset, I was mad, I was sad at the same time. I had all these kind of emotions going through me. Once I seen what it was, like I say, I knew it had to be returned to the rightful owner. So well, that's when I done a little bit of investigating and find out where the powwow was, and I brought it out to the powwow. Just ready to go home and just say, well, you know, that's it. You know. So enough, she happens to go to the announcer stand and she asks for help and sure enough, um, there it was. It was, all, it was just sitting there. I was just so amazed, like, I didn't know what to do. My, my face just lit up, you know, and smile on my face. I, you know, I was just so happy. I'd done a good thing that turned into a very good thing. And I'm very happy the man has his stuff back so he can continue on with his traditional dancing. I'd be very, very grateful for what he did. Like I said, a lot of people, have lost outfits and never seen them again. So I wanted to come back and I wanted to meet Blaine face to face, shake his hand and give him something of my appreciation for what he did. I'm very proud. I'll hang it with honor in my cottage and uh, it'll be there for many years to come.